everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. I've got some items to unbox today and uh, some items that I've ordered that I would like to show you all. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, jump into this. Uh, the first item I want to show you is an item that I pre-ordered, forgot that I pre-ordered and reordered. So I received on Saturday, the 10 inch Funko Pop of Chucky from Child's Play 2. So this came on Saturday. On Friday night, I reordered this, so I now have two of these. <laughs> so I'm, I'm either gonna send back the one that I received today or hang on to it and maybe it will be a future prize in a, a contest. We will, we will see. So, the 10 inch figure of Chucky. All right, this came in the mail today. Uh, it is the soundtrack to uh, Blade 2. It's got some stickers on it that I'm gonna try to get off. There's a little bit of, looks like, I don't think it's ring wear. Maybe I'll get it off with some goo gone. Looking forward to hearing this. There is a hole punch, it looks like, in the cover. This was super cheap on eBay. I think I paid 12 bucks for it. So, looking forward to spending that. For those of you that are curious as to how the wax looks, it was a double LP, and it came on this clear blue vinyl. Here is the uh, label to it. I've got two boxes I haven't unboxed yet. But those will be for last. This came in the mail today as well. This is a, a flaming pumpkin that you just plug in and it looks like the flames are flickering. This is something that I bought that will um, be an accessory piece to my Sam figure. It is loud, so I will not uh, be demonstrating it uh, in the video. If I do, I'll wait till the end and just tag it on at the end of the video. So the Flaming Pumpkin from Trick or Treat that I got from Spirit Halloween. The next item that I received uh, is a poster looks like and this is a poster that I purchased uh, from Ginny at B-Sides, B-E-A Side Records. Uh, she holds weekly auctions on Sunday, Sunday nights <clears throat> and this poster uh, is one that my friend Beth at B-Side Records bought for me since she knows I am a big horror fan. She herself is a big horror fan. Uh, but um, it's something that I wanted. It was $2. Uh, Beth said, you know what? You've helped me out with some stuff here recently. Uh, let me get that for you. I was like, thank you. <laughs> so let's pull this out and take a look she said all right this is a rather large poster so you can see it's from the texas chainsaw massacre now to figure out where i can hang it on my wall thank you beth this is very nice of you Next is a care package from Mark of Horror. He contacted me, I want to say it was Friday, and said, hey, um, would you be opposed to me sending you a quarantine care package? I was like, that's very thoughtful of you, sure. So I gave him my address, he said, there's a kick. You have to pick out 12 movies. So he gave me a list of movies to choose from I picked out a dozen and uh, 
let's see what he has included right off the top. I see he has included some extra goodies that he did not mention in his Instagram message. So we have El Or de Frankenstein, a postcard it says, Hey David, I hope this pandemic pick me up finds you well. We always enjoy seeing you in our Saturday night chats. Don't eat the 30 year old gum, best mark of horror. I will not eat the 30 year old gum. So uh, he has included a Dorbs figure. You see that or not? Oh, I hope I turn it around the right way. Uh, the figure he said is this Fallout guy is for home defense post apocalypse. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. I'm sure he will defend my house better than my dog does. My dog is the biggest chicken in the world. All right, so uh, looks like we've got some horrible kids. I used to collect the garbage pail kids when I was a kid, so this is this is cool. Uh, this is Repeater. Some zombie skittles. Are these safe to eat, Mark? Uh, we've got some monster uh, versus aliens stickers, it looks like. We have some X-Files stickers from season two. Some Terminator 2 Judgment Day cards. Pillow Stop of Horror. Some stickers, and I imagine this is the 30 year old gum. <laughs> Looks like he's also included uh, another pack of little Shop of Horror cards and a sticker. I'm sorry, not a sticker, a coaster uh, to the movie Underwater, which is one I've been wanting to check out, to be honest. If this is what I'm thinking of. Um, this is the one that has the chick from Twilight in it. I can't remember her name. I was it that big a fan of Twilight. <laughs> so, thank you, Mark. Very thoughtful. Oh, there's a little baggie in here. Oh, sweet, Mark. That's been very cool. He's uh, included a pen from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> and a Mark of Horror badge sticker with his logo all right on to the movies <clears throat> so first up we have two films from the masters of horror Stuart Gordon and John Carpenter we have cigarette burns from John Carpenter and dreams in the witch house from Stuart Gordon I have not seen Cigarette Burns. Um, I saw a trailer for it uh, when I was going through the list that Mark gave me. Uh, it has um, Norman Reedus in it from um, The Walking Dead and uh, Boondock Saints, so I'm looking forward to this. We have Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. I just picked up Jeepers Creepers 3 yesterday on Blu-ray, so Thank you very much, Mark. My Bloody Valentine. I have never seen this, and I am looking forward to watching this one. I've seen lots of people place it in their top 20 list, so very much looking forward to this. Another one I've never seen. Krampus. I've seen the figure, I know what Krampus looks like, but I've never seen the movie, so looking forward to watching that one. Prophecy from uh, John Frankenheimer. This is one I've 
believe has Christopher Walken in it. Am I think of another one? Maybe that was just called The Prophecy. Next we have Oculus. Oh, this one looks pretty creepy. There's the back. Still sealed. We have Leatherface. I really enjoyed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Um, I had not seen this one yet, so looking forward to seeing this one as well. Next we have The Woman in Black, starring Harry Potter. I'm sorry, but Daniel Radcliffe will always be Harry Potter in my mind. We have Insidious, good movie. Uh, this is one I, I just don't own. This is the uh, Dawn of the Dead remake. Very good movie. This is one that I enjoyed. I'm just waiting for Bing Ream to say, Arby's, we have the meats. And then lastly, we have uh, Scream 2, still sealed. I have not seen a Scream movie in so long. Um, I met Matthew, uh, was it Lilliard? Lilliard? Uh, he's in the first one. I've met him uh, a couple times. Very nice guy. Looking forward to seeing this, uh, and since there's all this talk about a new Scream movie coming out, it would be good just to reconnect with the franchise. So, thank you, Mark. Very, 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 very thoughtful of you. Uh, looks like he has included uh, something else in here. I don't want to. I don't want to bend it. It is Mark of Horrors. Mark of Horrors. It's like a. Oh, it's a coloring book. <laughs> Very nice. I saw Hannibal Lecter a while ago. There's. Um, Kathy Bates' character from Misery. It's Hannibal Lecter and Pennywise. <laughs> Very cool, Mark. Very, very cool. So we've got Jason the Astronaut. The Maskless Pumpkin Boy. I'm Sam. This is very cool, Mark. <laughs> so very creative, too. If you all aren't familiar with Mark of Horror, and if you're subscribed to my channel at all, I'm sure you are. But I'll post a link down below. Go check him out. He's got a great channel. Uh, every Saturday night, uh, he and Cody and John from Project Ellsworth and Ben from Cadaver Club and Phil Creepy Vids host a live stream called Coast to Coast. Um, they're getting ready to do their rankings of the Halloween movies. I believe this weekend they just put out one recently of the Nightmare on Elm Street rankings. It's a fun hangout. Just talking about anything and everything uh, from, you know, collectibles to movies to just just life in general. So check out Mark. And uh, again, I'll post a link down below. I've got one more package here I'd like to open. And this is from my good friend Beth at B-Side Records. I have no idea what she is, has sent to me. She's labeled the box BCLT. So, let's see what we got. I'm not looking. The first thing we received is... Oh, Blondie. Parallel Lines. I knew about this one. Duh. Beth was giving away some records that she doesn't listen to anymore. Uh, this was one that I saw in her list and said I would like to get the album Blondies. So, Parallel Lines. Next. 
This one feels hefty. And for helping me out, party on. Oh, wow. She sent me the soundtrack to Wayne's World. Awesome. That That is so awesome, Beth. <laughs> I love Wayne's World. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's one I've had on my radar for a long time and it just never sprung for. Uh, it's on black vinyl. I don't know how she has it in here, but here's the uh, jacket. Here's the back. Sorry for the glare. This was one of the first soundtracks that I ever bought um, on CD way back in the day uh, when I was a member of, you know, the Columbia House and BMG uh, services that I, uh, of course, paid for. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, this is so cool, Beth. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do appreciate this. I think that's all I have to show for this week. Just a lot of generosity from, from people that I've had known for a little while and then others that I've just recently met. I'm, I'm, um, I'm kind of blown away by just the, the people out there that are still genuinely good people. Um, I, uh, I hope to return favor uh, to you, Mark. Um, Beth, you know I'll, I, I've, I will return the favor uh, to you for sure. Um, it's been a tough week for me, you guys. Um, had a death in the family that was unexpected. Um, it was my wife's on my wife's side of the family. Um, she's very devastated by it. My my daughters are devastated by it. Their birthday was this past weekend. I tried to step in and and get them a cake and 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 plan something, but it just all kind of fell through. <clears throat> fell through. So uh, you know, I, I admittedly I felt defeated. Um, you know, it's been tough, but, um, we'll get through this. Um, you guys certainly helped me get through this with, you know, providing uh, some distractions. Um, but, um, yeah, 2020 has absolutely been a shit show year. I uh, hope it gets better. Uh, the only thing left that they could do that would just totally ruin it for me would be to cancel Halloween. So, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all are doing well. Stick around. I will show you a video of the flaming pumpkin that I got uh, for Sam. And uh, that's going to do it for this week. Until next time, take care. And uh, stay well. Thanks.